Friday, everybody! Today, I am going to share a lesson. This lesson is from this book. It's called The Mountain Is You by Brianna Wiest. The Mountain Is You. And I got this book um, over the summer. And then I happened to open it up this morning and I had like such an epiphany that I went back and I reread the yellow, you can't tell, but the yellow marks are um, from this summer because I started reading it. And the green marks, hi, you can't tell with all these lights. Oh, there you go. The green marks are from this morning. So I like to date things in my book because it makes a big difference when you go back and you're like, oh, this is where I was on this day. And so I do that if you ever want to and put the year and yeah, it's a great idea You just write the the date in a little and that way like if you ever open it again You're like, oh wow, my life has changed so much. I've changed so much. I've learned so much So I love it as a reference tool. So Brianna Wiest says we are not held back in life Because we are incapable of making change we are held back because we don't feel like making change. And so we don't. The truth is that you have a vision of what you want. Know that it is undoubtedly right for you and simply not feel like taking the action required to pursue that path. How often, Giovanna speaking now, how often have you been doing something or not doing anything and you know you gotta do something and you're like, mm, I don't feel like doing it, I'm not gonna do it. You don't feel like doing it. It's not because you're incapable of doing whatever that is. It's because you don't feel like it. We don't feel like it, myself included. Okay, okay, okay. Me too. <laughs> there are times where I'm like, hey, it's Sunday fun day. I don't want to do anything. I'm not incapable of doing it. But I don't want to do it. Mm. And that's when we don't change, when we don't feel like doing it. Because we're so, so, so committed to doing what we want to do and being in our comfort zone that we neglect to do the things that are going to stretch us out of our comfort zone. So we do what we want to do, but what we want to do isn't always what's best for us. Y'all, let me tell you some more. This is because Brianna says, this is because our feelings are essentially wired as comfort systems. They produce a good feeling when we are doing what we have always done. Staying in familiarity, that's what we've always done. So this to our bodies registers as safety. In other cases, the accomplishments or changes that we are very happy about are those that we also perceive to offer us a greater measure of safety. If the achievement potentially puts us at risk in any way or exposes us to something unfamiliar, we aren't going to be happy about it, even if it is a net positive for our lives. Oh gosh, I'm going to take a moment here because I want to give you an example as to how this manifested for me this week and why this was so powerful for me. So guys, you know, I was away last weekend, right? And we had such fun. Like we had a great time. We were up like in wine country, in Paso Robles, in Morro Bay, in Solvang. We went to a few different little cities up in mid California, not quite north mid california and it was amazing and we were there with our cupid that's what we call him because he is the reason oscar and i met he planned everything and it was amazing he did such a great job like planning the itinerary it was no joke <laughs> oscar and i don't do that we don't plan we just show up we're like oh look we stumbled upon this right oh no jesse our cupid i'll call him cupid cupid planned everything he also planned my engagement because oscar doesn't plan so so little side note, Jesse, our Cupid, who is also our best man, planned how Oscar proposed to me <laughs> two years ago, three years ago, whatever the number was, right? So I get back from said amazing weekend and I feel that my jeans aren't fitting the same way. <laughs> 
because we overindulged in amazing food. And I was feeling so uncomfortable. I'm like, oh my God, I put on more weight. Great. Now tack on the pounds, right? And I was like so upset that I like am gaining weight. So I need to work out, right? I need to work out more often. And I stumbled upon this thing that I knew about years ago, but I never did it. And it's called Class Pass. In the US, I don't no think that they are internationally yet but it's called classpass.com it's an app right and i was like oh they have great classes around all of la i can try different classes and then i can like see which one i like and then i can commit to a gym or a yoga studio whatever it is because i can work out at home but i do better when i'm outside of the house like when i see the motivation of other like you know bodies in motion so i'm like man the class pass is really cool so I get a free month trial, which is amazing. I'm going to find a link and put it in so that you guys can maybe um, partake in that if you so choose to, if you're in the U.S. Anyway, so I say this because I was looking at all these yoga studios and all these gyms and I got anxious. <laughs> I got so anxious. Like, I kid you not, I had so much anxiety about going back to a gym. Like, have I been to a gym at hotels? But like, they're empty, right? And like, you can do whatever you want. No one's watching. But like, I haven't been to a proper gym in my city since before, like, the lockdowns. So it's been like over three years, right? This is the first time I'm going back to an actual proper studio gym. And I was scared, y'all. <laughs> I was so scared. I just was like very anxious about it. So I say this because our brains, per Brianna, and of course so many other researchers and experts, it's trained for comfort. It's trained to be happy doing what we are used to doing. I'm not used to going to a different studio every day trying to see different studios. Like, that's not new for me. I mean, that's new for me, right? So I got really anxious, like already thinking about reserving because you have to reserve the class. And I was like, oh my gosh, and parking and all these silly things that made me scared to do the very thing that I knew would benefit me, which is go out, work out, and get in better shape, right? So I'm like, man, this is ridiculous. So I put all this like crap stuff in my head, like, oh, people are gonna look at me weird. I've gained too much weight. I'm not gonna look cute in my little gym outfit anymore. And I had all this stuff going in my head. Well, let me tell you, okay? Let me tell you. I went to my first gym class pass and it was amazing it was amazing to be back in the gym with people and bodies and bodybuilders and and all sorts of bodies in between there were people heavier than me there were people skinnier than me there were people leaner there were people fitter there were people who need more work and guess what it's all okay so i say this because so often the little things we are afraid to do are the very things we must do and because we're happy doing the same thing over and over because our brain likes comfort likes the familiarity it's not gonna encourage us to go out and do the new thing that we know we want to do i wanted to do class pass i wanted to go to the gym but i got scared like really shouldn't i know better Shouldn't I know better? I wrote a freaking book about anxiety. And I tell you this because I just want you to know that just because you like work on your anxiety doesn't mean it's going to go away completely. Overwhelm. I know everybody is overwhelmed. It's the end of the year. I hear the comments. People are like, I have a lot going on. You know, I'm nervous about this. I'm anxious about that. Just because you read a book, write a book, work on your anxiety doesn't mean it's going to go away. We are hardwired in our bodies to function this way. And if you've read my book, you'll know that I struggled through it so much that I wouldn't even come on YouTube for years because I was afraid of coming on YouTube. And this is to show you that I can still be scared and still come on YouTube and share it with you so that you don't feel alone when you're feeling anxious, overwhelmed, frustrated, angry, sad, depressed, 
fill in the blank because we're all going to feel it at some point or another. I'm not happy 24-7, but gosh darn, I know how to get myself happy. I've worked on it. So I love this because I feel like so many of us could benefit from this. And I I just wanted to share, y'all. I just wanted to share that lesson for this week. Is that, is that okay that I shared that lesson? Did that resonate with you? I mean, I can go on. So yes, um, this was an Amazon purchase. And the gist is that the mountain is you. You are in your own way. You are the one that stops yourself. I could have easily stopped myself from going to class pass, gym pass, whatever. I could have easily been like, no, you know what? I'll just keep working out at home where no one sees me and I'm okay. And I don't have to commute and I don't have to park because parking is a major issue in this city. I'm like, no, why should I do what I've always done when I want to do something different? And why not do the thing I want to do because my brain is telling me I can't or I shouldn't? No, I'm not going to live my life like that. I want to live my life. I can't let this, which is really, really the irony of it. They tell you, use your head. Use your head. Your head is going to talk you out of everything you want to do. Because that's the way your head, your brain was wired, was created. And thank you, God, whoever you believe in. Thank you, God, for creating a brain and that I have a brain and I'm grateful for it. But I need to use it to my advantage. And by doing the things I am fearful of, as long as I'm safe, right? Going to the gym, fairly safe activity, um, all things considering. By doing the things I want to do, I can train my brain. I can train my brain to chill out. I want to go to the gym and I don't care if somebody thinks I'm overweight and I'm wearing tight pants or whatever, right? Whatever was going through my wacky brain at that time. I don't care. I'm going to go. You don't like the way I look? Don't look at me, right? That's what I want us all to do. I want us all to be okay doing the very thing we might be nervous doing, whether it's going to Germany whether it's traveling alone, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's taking a kickboxing class, I'm going to take Tai Chi and Jiu Jitsu. I'm going to do everything in this one month, free month um, trial period I have because it's like all sorts of classes. Like there's all, all sorts, right? Like everything you can imagine. I'm going to do it all because this is my opportunity to try things that I've never tried before. I've never tried jujitsu. I want to do Muay Thai. There's all these amazing things we can do that our brain wants to be like, no, you've never done that before. Don't do it. You might get, you might get looked at. You might fall. You might be, get made fun of. Don't go. It's better to stay home. Yeah, just stay in here and do the same thing over and over again. No. <laughs> Heck to the no. I'm going to live my life. It's Especially after three years where we were bogged down, held back, locked down. No, I used to be this way pre-COVID. Then COVID happened and I got too comfortable in the house. And now I'm like, oh, I'm going to leave the house. Yes, because life is out there. Life isn't in my little living room, in my little office, in my little, like, hi, this is my life. No, spread out, enjoy life, go to a little something island, town, village, and explore. I have so many more pictures from my weekend, like, I enjoyed my life outside of my house. And no, you're not going to do that every single day. We got jobs and school and responsibilities. But all I'm saying is, let's begin to re enjoy being out in the world in life oh she says however we can actually train ourselves to prefer behaviors that are good for us mm. this is how we restructure our comfort zones we begin to crave what we repeatedly do but the first few times we do it we often feel uncomfortable the trick is being able to override that initial hesitation so we are guiding our lives with logic and reason, not emotionality. Okay, well, she talks about using logic and reason. I, I, I use my heart. <laughs> I check in with my heart and I'm like, do I want to do that? What do I want to do? Heart, tell me what I want to do. 
So I go with my heart. She, I think, is a psychologist, so she might be. But I follow my heart whenever possible. So, all right, my loves, I'm going to shush. Happy weekend, yay. Enjoy it. And sending lots of love. All users' ways. Bye for now. Oh, I miss you already. Bye. <laughs> So if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel, so keep watching.